Hello, my name's Ann Molk. I'm a volunteer at Northern Chautauqua Canine Rescue. I've been volunteering here for eight years. NCCR was started in 1999 by Jan Balsano and Brenda Luce. They worked with the dog control officer and leased space on his property. There was a need to help abandon and stray dogs in the Westfield area. And the dog control officer would bring in a stray dog. Brenda and Jan would help take care of the dogs. And if nobody claimed them, they were the first dogs adopted out. help the people of Chautauqua County by taking in owner turnovers. They may have an illness and have to go into hospice care. They may be getting older and are going into a nursing home. And they need a place that can take their beloved pet, find it a new home, and that they can be comfortable that their dog will have a good life. adoptions happen in Chautauqua County, so most of the dogs stay around this area. But we also have dogs that are adopted all over the state. Because of the internet, people see our website and they see our dogs and they might be far away. We have several dogs that have gone to the Rochester area. We have quite a few dogs that go into the Buffalo area and we have even one dog that went to New York City. Puppy mill dogs come to us from Ohio. We work with a kill shelter in Indiana and we bring their dogs in when they've run out of time. NCCR is a no kill shelter. A dog will never be put down here to make room for more dogs. We work hard to find a home for every dog. If we can't find a home for the dog, we have other organizations that may be able to find a home for the dog. The Samson Fund was started when the dog control officer brought in a dog that was shivering in a snowbank trying to stay warm. NCCR was just getting started then and this poor dog was in desperate need of veterinary care. He was malnourished, he had infected wounds. While our founder was sitting in the veterinarian's office waiting for their turn, she thought of this proud animal in pitiful condition and was afraid the veterinarian was going to recommend euthanasia. She didn't want the dog to die without a name. So she gave him the name Samson. Samson's wounds were treated. He received medical care that cost a lot of money, but he survived. And he was the inspiration for our Samson fight. Many dogs come in to us in need of veterinary care. Some could have a broken bone, or they've been in a car accident, or they have a mouth full of porcupine quills. They need immediate veterinary care, and that costs money. Uh, one dog came to us about Christmas time a few years ago. Her name was Noelle, and she became very ill, was taken to the veterinarian, and she had parvovirus. This is a very critical condition for dogs. She was given a 5% chance to survive. Thanks to the dedication of her foster mom who cared for her 24 hours a day and good medical treatment, she survived and is thriving. Earlier this year we had two puppies who became critically ill with Parvo over the weekend. And they had to go to the emergency veterinary clinic. The two puppies needed extensive care and their vet bill was over $8,000. It just about depleted our Samson fund. The director put out a plea to the community 
asking for donations to help us rebuild the Samson Fund and the community stepped forward and gave us donations so our Samson Fund was funded again. With the help of some local businesses, 358 Productions is on a mission to raise funds for the four-legged friends in our community who need it most. This December, we're bringing aid to the Northern Chautauqua Canine Rescue's Samson Fund. We've partnered with AKS Designs, Riders Cup Coffee, and the Biodome Project of Jamestown to bring you a limited edition hoodie. 100% of the sales from these hoodies are going straight to the Samson Fund. Plus, when you buy one of these hoodies from Riders Cup, you get a free medium house coffee or one free carton of farm fresh eggs if you purchase at the Biodome Project, completely on us. So we ask that you please join us in giving back this holiday. Know that 100% of your dollars will directly assist the efforts of a local shelter that works around the clock every day caring for those left behind. And wear environmentally friendly apparel that leaves less impact for future fur families. If you'd like to purchase one of these hoodies and find out more about the Samson Fund, please stop down to the Biodome Project on Pine or Riders Cup Coffee on Chautauqua Avenue in Lakewood, New York. I would like to say thank you to the members of our community and we consider volunteers part of our community. We consider the adopters who have adopted the 242 dogs this year part of our community and say thank you to them. Thank you to the donors, thank you to the adopters and everybody and Merry Christmas. And if anybody wants to find out more about the Talk with Canine Rescue. Where, where can we get more in? Um, please go to our website, www.caninerescue.org, and you'll find a lot of good information there about NCCR, about our history, about the Samson Fund, and also about the dogs we have in a house to be adopted. Awesome. It's a wrap. What was this? <laughs>